Hi, how you doing? My name is Jim Mills. I'm an RV technician here at Holman Motors. We're going to do a walkthrough on your unit and uh, hopefully it will inform you a little bit about how everything works. Um, first of all, we have uh, LP tanks. This cover just pushes on and it pulls off. Uh, it does have a door here that uh, so you don't have to take it off when you're going to turn your valves on and off, but I want you to see the tanks and everything. Um, there's two ways for valves to be all the way up open or all the way down closed. Nowhere in between should you ever put them. That's just a possible gas leak. So, since you don't know how much fuel is in each one of them, we run both of them all the way open. And they are full for you. We fill them up. Um, so, this regulator uh, is a great regulator because since we have both valves open, it's pointing to this tank. If When this tank runs empty, as long as both valves are open, this regulator will automatically jump over to this tank and keep running. Um, the only thing is, right now there's a green dot in here. You can't really see it because they put them backwards, but there is a green dot. When it changed over, it would turn red. You would then have to manually turn it over. It'll start, it'll continue to suck off this tank, but then the back pressure stops it where you put this valve, or uh, close it, take this off, loosen it, and go have this filled while everything still runs. So it's a great regulator to uh, make it to where you don't run out. So. This, like I said, this just pushes on or pulls off, and uh, you just got to get it past this um, on there. Pushes down. Like I said, it does have a door there uh, to work them uh, valves when you need it, but we'll shut it up for you and uh, be done with that. You do have a battery back here. It is a 12 volt uh, deep cycle starting battery, but it's not maintenance free. You do have to uh, keep the distilled water above above the plates in the battery. Uh, if you ever let it go below them plates, you're short-circuiting that battery, and the battery's life uh, is uh, diminished quite a bit. So keep that distilled water only above those plates, and that battery will last a long time. You have a battery disconnect over here. It's red, and it turns on or off. Um, the only way the battery charges, if it's plugged in or plugged into your truck, is if this battery disconnect is on. If it's off, um, if you're plugged in by the shore cord, you will still have power because you have electric uh, 120 power, but the converter is not charging the battery. So make sure you keep that on when you're using the unit. When you're going to park it in the yard, your storage space, and it off, and that kills all uh, 12 volt power. Or, uh, 12 volt power, yeah. You do have lights here, and there's a switch right under here. And uh, look down there, that switch turns those docking lights on or off. It uh, gives you lights when you're going to work out here uh, at night. Um, a uh, compartment here um, 